Greetings Laddingtons, I am back from a most harmonious and joyful Christmas. I um, spent a lot of time reading, read the first Witcher book. Very good, I can definitely recommend it. But I will talk about my, my Christmas of reading at a later time. Today I thought to talk a bit about the decade that has been, some lessons and some predictions for the future. So as you see, Skadi still has not blessed us with snow. Um, but uh, Helios, my good old friend Helios, has at least blessed us with some sun this fine last day of the decade. So I want to start this little story. No, it's not really a story, it's just a rambling as usual. So we can begin in 2010. So I did my military service during all of 2009. And when I got out, then I started the university studies afterwards. And there was a certain sensation that something had changed. And the change was smartphones. 2010 was, at least in Sweden's case, when people started having smartphones and it, in my humble opinion at least, it brought the internet, it made the internet much more relevant for more people. Before, so 2008 etc, I was on the internet um, a lot, or well, somewhat a lot. I wasn't on any social media back then, except for, you know, certain messaging functions and Skype, etc. But when the time of the smartphones came, it was also the rise of social media, such as, you know, Facebook, YouTube, as you're watching now, or if you're watching BitChute, uh, and all of these sort of things. Then it's quite interesting to see the rise and fall of Facebook. Now, of course, Facebook is still huge. A lot of people are still using it. Uh, I've basically stopped using it myself because, yeah, they censor so much and they collect data of their users, etc. But I remember still, and this was in 2013, when I created my Facebook account. It was actually the main goal for me, created Latsbra fan page to get a big Facebook page, that was the goal. Then of course, both Instagram and YouTube um, surpassed Facebook, uh, for my sake at least. And now Facebook is rapidly declining. So we've seen the rise of huge social media platform and its, well, beginning of the decline at least, because people are looking for other platforms. So that's quite fascinating and uh, with this with the increased relevance of the internet in in humanity so to speak I'm sounding dramatic here but uh, it is actually quite dramatic you saw a large enlightenment take place and if I am bitter about something I'm not by the way because life's been good to me uh, I haven't really made any big mistakes. I've set a quite good course for myself, but there are some things I wish I knew when I was 15, 16, something like that. And I've always been a bit bitter that I didn't have a guy such as myself to tell me these things, such as the porn question, for example. When I was 17, there was no one who said to me, you know what, this isn't good for you. No one at all. Absolutely no one told me stop watching porn. And the reason I trained Thai boxing then was because I'd watched a lot of Kung Fu films when I was younger. But there wasn't really anyone who said to me, this is good for you, this is the correct path. Now I took a good path anyway, but still, it, um, it would have been nice to have had someone sort of like a mentor in these things, in this regard, but it was a different world during the, well, 2006, etc., um, than it is now. And speaking of the great enlightenment process, you can see the difference 
and the quality of the, of the quality of the soul among among guys you have some guys who have used what we had or what we still had because I must say this also in regards to the great enlightenment and censorship what we had between the years of say 2014 to 2018 um, unprecedented in the history of humanity that level of free communication between people all across the world truly amazing um, not sure if we will ever see something like it again um, and I am if I'm happy about something is that I took this opportunity to present my worldview now of course it's a bit different moving forward because of censorship etc but I just want everyone to know that I am so happy and thankful for having been able to be a part to be able to have been relevant in certain discussions when during this time um, so and I feel a bit bad for perhaps the younger guys who've missed this um, it was a good good debate we've had over these last few years now of course yeah it's perhaps coming to an end who knows um, because of censorship etc but anyway back to my initial thought of the difference the quality of the soul between guys so when you're being presented with basically limitless information and I write about this in my book as well which you must read by the way I will talk more about my book at a later point but you have some guys who are weak who use this opportunity this golden opportunity the internet the internet has presented us with and they watch porn for example out of all the things you can learn in the internet and you watch porn then also if we're talking about the political side you have certain guys who are angry at the world because they go around like this in in life they feel mugged by the world then they go online they vent their frustration commenting a lot of hateful things commenting extreme things edgy things of course it's not edgy if you're anonymous but they use it as a vent just for their own pleasure so the bad the bad quality guys are the ones who watch porn and vent frustration online of course it's nothing wrong with being frustrated it would be strange if you aren't if you have taken the red pill in regards to the state of western civilization but doing it in a bad way is venting like that completely useless and sets us back in our message now of course for the guys who have really taken this golden opportunity it's gonna film this because it's aesthetic a golden day for for me thank you Helios again most most joyous really nice light outside now anyway the guys who have taken this golden opportunity and these are the sort so, and these are the sort of guys I want to wear Legio Gloria clothing are the guys who they have used the information they can find on the internet to realize that porn is bad for example so they stay well clear of it then they have said you know this is a great opportunity to present our worldview our arguments our aesthetic in an attractive way and you know in a calm and measured manner you say okay cool I can reach a lot of people with this social media for example let me take a calm decision make the most out of the situation instead of just rushing in uh, in accord with your impulses to comment something edgy because you get that that kick uh, same thing with drama of course people love drama um, it's understandable drama can be fun uh, but you also need to realize it's something destructive and bad most of the time sometimes drama can be good but most of the time it's just a waste of time so you realize then two different guys and I want you of course my dear listener or 
subscriber to be the guy who controls his impulses makes the most use out of it. If you're angry, take it out in martial arts training or in the gym. If you're out to learn, learn something that you can apply in your own life. Um, take the glorious spill, embark upon the self-improvement journey. So that is th so that is, so that is something I've at least seen and I thought it was really interesting to see the difference in how guys react when they are presented with uh, the internet. So basically limitless information and uh, limitless amounts of temptations as well. Now, I mentioned I was a bit bitter and uh, another example of this is again, when I was young, when I was a teenager the culture overall was still that you should drink alcohol, you should get drunk, that is what you do. Um, now, again, I was never really into that because, well, I didn't think it was overly fun. Um, but I still wish someone some older guy that I could look up that I could look up to would you say you know what you absolutely do not need to feel that you need to go out to get drunk or something instead he could have said you know what just focus on bettering yourself um, focus on your training even focus on your school I mean who who would have said that um, but you know Maybe I can say it now instead, uh, so even if I couldn't have some things, I want to compensate by giving some younger guys now some good direction and just some moral support in the things they want to do. So let's admire this uh, gathering of water. Extremely aesthetic nature today. I was here earlier in the summer with a good friend. Shout out Natty Pete. And we filmed with my drone for the Quest for Atlantis video. Um, great video, very happy with it. And it was full of mosquitoes and stuff, so we had to be quick about it. But uh, we got some good shots. And uh, now it's a bit more pleasant to be here without all of the flying critters um, and again looking looking quite cool even though we didn't get any snow yet um, so anyway that is something I'm not really bitter but I wish still that I would have someone to tell me and speaking of which I can tell you this much in regards to male happiness I don't like the word happiness but I will use it here because I don't know Fulfillment might be a better word. Um, I won't speak for women because, well, I'm, I want to give advice to guys because that's something I have more insights into. But if you want to be fulfilled and happy as a man, you have to get things done. You have to take care of business. That is what makes you feel good with yourself. Temporary pleasures is not something that will yield to long-term satisfaction so if you see these guys who are about a party lifestyle they go out get drunk every weekend sometimes or perhaps even most of the times they use it as a cope because they don't feel good in their regular life so they just trudge along during the weeks then they get drunk, take uh, drugs, etc. search for one night stands during the weekend to compensate for an otherwise unfulfilling life. And for a man, in my humble opinion, this is not healthy or good. What is healthy and good is to seek progression, is to better yourself, it's to achieve your goals, taking care of business and getting things done. That's what I like in life, getting things done. Uh, and I'm sure everyone who is in a similar mindset can agree that 
going out getting drunk, for example. I haven't been drunk in 10 years, by the way, because I'm such a disciplined Prussian soldier. Um, but anyway, if you are in that situation, I'm just trying to navigate the, the ground here. I'm sure you will agree that a day spent doing things that helps you reach your goals is a nice day. You can take travel for example, and I will make a separate video on travel later on. Over these last seven years I have traveled quite a bit at least. Um, and I would say 90%, 95% of all travels have been first and foremost paid for. So you don't think I spend so much money on going places. But it's been because of either taking fitness model pictures or giving speeches. So that's been in congruence with my larger goal. So that's been a certain thing I've done, not only for the pleasure of it, but for the, for the getting things done type of um, um, sensation. So one good example of this is my pilgrimage to Thailand, which I did because I've always wanted to do a pilgrimage of Thai boxing to Thailand, but it was also because I knew I was going to start coaching more back in Sweden. So I can teach my people how to better protect themselves in an uncertain world. And then I went down and I had the mentality of a sponge, just um, you know, absorbing as much wisdom as possible because I knew I have to learn it as well so I can teach it to others. And that made the journey something well worth even in retrospect. But if you had gone to Thailand to just participate in decadent behavior, you wouldn't probably feel that it was worth your time or your money. So anyway, I don't know if this makes any sense at all, but point being, if you want to feel content and fulfilled as a man, it's about achieving something. Then of course you can definitely have times where you relax. Um, you can even have a beer with your mates if you want and just, you know, wind down a bit. It's the same thing if I read a book or game some, it's to just take a break. So uh, yeah, that is one lesson I've learned. Now a, another lesson which I have talked a bit about before and I will make more videos about it because it's such, a, such an important thing. And this is also the culture, and I suppose this is still the mainstream culture. And when I grew up, you saw films such as American Pie, where the main goal for each young man was to get laid. Uh, then again, I was never really attracted to these type of films because I was more into, you know, Lord of the Rings, um, fighting films, um, historic films such as Gladiator and uh, yeah, you know, the, the type. I'm sure most of my, many of my subscribers are along the same lines, but I still remember that is what you were almost pushed via culture to think was cool. Um, and it is not cool in the list. What is cool is to develop yourself, find a good woman, settle down with her, start a family, and then continue growing. You know, life doesn't end when you get a woman and a child. It's almost like they tell you that, you know what, once this happens, you won't have any fun things. You will only do this and that. It's completely not true at all. And this is something I want to really, really emphasize that, you know, what is good and glorious is build yourself up, get one good woman, be faithful and kind to her, take care of your children. Uh, it is nothing cool with going around in the Kali Yuga, in the modern world, and being seeking temporary intimate relationships. There's nothing cool about it. Uh, I now have enough confidence to say this. Um, you couldn't really say this maybe 10 years ago because then someone would say, oh, you are 
only saying this because you're not successful with the ladies. Uh, and still today you have this insult of incel, uh, which I think is truly ridiculous of an insult. You should stop using it. Uh, because in today's day and age, there's nothing heroic or it doesn't take particularly much skill to engage in um, temporary intimate relationships because again it's a very decadent age so it's not something to be proud of really it's uh, if something is easy it's um, yeah it's not something to be lauded so that is also a lesson I would like to spread far and wide and believe you me focus on finding one woman don't waste your time by pursuing temporary relationships with women you have no intention to be with so that is my wisdom now on to predictions for the future and first and foremost of course I have many more lessons from the last decade because it was such such an intense decade but um, yeah many more videos to make so I will discuss it then but some predictions for the coming decade at least I don't want to black pill anyone but it looks like we're heading for perhaps a bit rougher times and uh, then we have to go back to some primordial truths certain things that have been obvious for um, most of humanity's history I will try to get out from the sun so I won't look so exposed although it's nice to get the vitamin D from, um, from the sol, the sun speaking of which sun in Swedish is also called the sol so like the sun god sol I must take my refuge in this dark forest Whoop. Right, now we have a good light here. So anyway, predictions for the 20s and the primordial truth when it comes to surviving tough times is that you need to have a strong community. It was so aesthetic, I had to film that too. But anyway, the strong community is something you've had over, yeah, in basically all of humanity's history. Now, of course, over the last few decades, people, especially in countries such as Sweden, have relied upon the state to take care of them. Mm -hmm. They've relied upon the police to take care of their security and of, um, yeah, welfare to take care of the rest basically now we'll come to a stage where we see a bit more chaotic and fractured society so you need to start looking out for yourself and for your family and for the families of your tribe so to speak so you see people who have been minorities in countries over the centuries they've had a really strong cohesion of their community because they know they have to stick up for each other and that's something again I don't want to blackpill anyone but if you look on certain countries in Western Europe might be the case that the natives will become a minority um, a large minority but still a minority then you have to start thinking as one so if you're Swedish for example if you're a Swedish guy stand up for other Swedish guys, connect with other Swedish guys. You must have a good Männerbund in each small town and you connect with each other. Super necessary, if anything. So that is one prediction and I can't say too much now but I can't really imagine things will get any, any better before it uh, gets worse. 
so yeah that is one prediction at least and uh, other predictions we'll see how it uh, develops but now would be the time to start forming good friendship bonds the return of male friendship is a must again uh, talking about the culture uh, we've had you know where male friendships have been portrayed as either some homosexual tendencies or as something else you know you always needed to have female um, uh, females in any group because otherwise it was a sausage fest and other cringe worthy uh, names and I can tell you this much the guys who are uncomfortable with male exclusive groups are weak guys because they are afraid that they will not be up to par when because you know it's a different thing in a male exclusive group than it is with a mixed group because the social dynamic changes so in a in an all exclusive male group different dynamic and then you have to have certain qualities otherwise you will be bullied basically and I say bullied in a good way I'm totally against bullying in schools I think it's absolutely horrible but when it comes to male exclusive groups you can use bullying bullying as a tool to sharpen someone and uh, that is something that can be good uh, again bullying in schools needs to stop the way you stop a bully is to punch them in the face uh, but when it comes to these all-male groups it is super important that we can have a return to it to male friendship to tight solid male brotherhood and friendship uh, that is one lesson going into the next decade that we need to have otherwise you know a single guy isn't strong no matter how strong you are but uh, five guys who are all strong and can rely upon each other they can change the world look at Alexander and his companions his uh, childhood friends they uh, yeah went out to conquer the world and they had a tight tight-knit crew that um, saw each other as brothers so anyway that was my last video for this decade I would like to thank everyone for being with me and um, yeah it will be a hectic year I have had an absolutely epic decade I've had an absolute epic year I said I was going to set the pace high this is what I've done I've proved my supporters and friends right I've proved my enemies and detractors wrong and now we head into another decade of chaos and glory XXO boom